final practice day before the GPS 180. Hopefully we have a big turnout. We've got the track done. It is done done. Parking is done, campground is mowed. I think we're ready, dude. Uh, Stanley Mount from Boyd, Texas. Uh, this is my Megamoto 212. I've got the uh, MB200 Premium Sport Custom Fuel Tank, 236 Tillotson. Go Power Sport Swing Arm Kit. Got the Juggernaut and the Comet Driven. A custom super pipe, 10 inch aluminum wheels. Got a 24 flat slide Makuni. The new Alfano 7. It's very nice. Keep track of the head temps, GPS mapping, all the good, good stuff. I wanted to make an aluminum tank, so I actually went on Amazon and ordered a TIG welder and taught myself how to TIG weld aluminum just so I could build this tank. How long did it take you to build this thing? Um, I missed last year's race and I got, I came out here at the tail end and basically I think within a week I picked up this frame. So I've almost been working on it a full year. Are you gonna rip it today? Yes, I am. All right, good luck to you, Stanley. The track is awesome. Um, it's a lot longer than previous years and it's a lot more brutal. Uh, there's some good fast spots. You can get up to, I've gotten up to about 42 miles an hour, uh, but then there's other spots you can't go but five miles an hour. The sketchiest part is uh, what I'm gonna call the cliff. It's got the caution signs. Definitely watch out for the caution signs because that's the uh, idle and roll down. Accidentally crash tested it and nothing broke, <laughs> nothing came loose. Did you actually so, crash? Uh, kind of more like fell over, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Nick Nick Miner uh, from Flower Mound, Texas. Okay. I'm Ryan Neff. I'm also from Flower Mound. Are you guys riding as a team at the GPS 180? Uh, we definitely will probably be riding as a team after, after uh, the first lap. Yeah, yeah after the first lap, yeah. Juggernaut might be a lot. I mean, I, my goal one day is to be a Juggernaut, but yeah. maybe to start, I might need to. That's how we find you guys. Yeah. Mini Moto Madness. Yeah, Mini Moto Madness. Man, it's fun. It's challenging. Um, the rock section is very, very challenging. Um, but, I mean, overall, good track. I liked it. I uh, enjoyed the hills. Those sand, there's, there's those subtle sand traps in there, man, that yeah, you if you're that. not paying attention, you will wipe it. Bring spare parts. I crashed it and wrecked my peg, so I've been riding with crooked pegs. Oh, no. I don't know if my engine is... Like, I don't think my engine's still solid, but like my peg, my Voltic kit is diagonal now, so. How about you? You got any words of advice for first timers? I would uh, expect something that you don't expect, uh, either a hill or a rock or a turn. Uh, there'll be some turns that you don't, don't expect or some rocks, but just be ready for everything and just send it as hard as you can. Uh, my name is Lee Taylor. I'm from Aubrey, Texas. And you guys are gonna race on the GPS 180? That's the plan. Never really ridden a mini bike much before, but uh, been hearing nothing but good things about it because it's gonna have some fun. What's your background? Are you a guy dirt bike racer? Raced motocross for a little over 20 years and ridden dirt bikes for about 30 years. I have no idea how much of those skills might transfer over or not. So how was the track? I had no experience going in, no expectations, um, and I actually had a lot of fun. I thought I was going to meet Jesus a few times going down the hills with the rocks. When you see a sign that has anything to do with hills or rocks, 
Take it easy. Hi, Lee. Nice to meet you. No, sir. Oh, I know. So that top number. Porter, I thought that was you. Congratulations on the baby. That's so awesome. That's awesome that you made it down here. All right, how was the track? It was brutal, but fun. What was the uh, toughest part of it? I think going down the hills. So is there a specific part or a name that you would tell everyone to watch out for? I think you just need to watch out for uh, the whole ride. <laughs> Okay. Just be safe on the whole ride. So someone who's going to show up day of, they're novice, they haven't hit the track, what is one piece of advice you would give them? Well, better prepare for that long ride. It's going to be bumpy, but it's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, everybody's safe. All right, my man. Thank you.